there are six software containers provided in this tutorial, one for each component of the end-to-end -end NWP system. These include an NWP container with WPS and WARF programs, GSI for data assimilation, UPP for post-processing, Python for creating graphics, MET for verification, and MetViewer for database and display of verification. Each of these containers can be built using three different options. First, pulling the image from Docker Hub. Second, building the image from scratch with Docker. Or third, pulling the Docker Hub image to convert it to a singularity image for use with singularity commands. In the following sections of the online tutorial, we will detail how to build the software containers with each of these three options. But first, let's talk about the components of the NWP system. All of the steps and components of an end-to-end -end NWP system are shown here. Each dark gray box corresponds to an individual container used to run the programs for that step in the NWP workflow. So what is in the DTC containers? These containers package everything that is needed to initialize and run the WARF model, produce graphics and verification from the WARF model output. The components can be run individually or as part of an entire workflow. They use open source software, such as GNU compilers, and most components can be run in parallel. In the following slides, we'll take a quick look at each of these components. The first component is the WARF preprocessing, or WPS, which is used for the preprocessing step. WPS takes existing 4D atmospheric data from GRIB format files and interpolates it onto the user's specified WARF domain grid. There are three programs, GeoGrid, UnGrib, and MetGrid. In GeoGrid, it defines the size and location of the course domain and interpolates static terrestrial fields to the course domain and nested domain grids. UnGrib extracts meteorological fields from the GRIB files, and MetGrid horizontally interpolates meteorological fields from UnGrib to the course grid that was defined in the GeoGrid step. The second component is the Grid Point Statistical Interpolation, or GSI. This is used for the data simulation step. This is an optional step, but it can help improve your forecast. Data simulation is the process by which real observations are incorporated into the initial conditions of your model to produce a better guess of the atmosphere's initial state. There are a number of observations that can be included into this data simulation step. Next, we have the model integration step. Here we use the Weather Research and Forecasting, or WARF model. This model is highly configurable, but can also cater to less advanced users. There are a number of schemes and suites that can be used, and most options can be easily changed at runtime. And it can also run using nested domains. There are two components that make up the WARF model, the real program and WARF program. The real program generates the initial state and lateral boundary conditions and performs a vertical interpolation for the 3D meteorological fields and soil data. The WARF program performs the actual model integration through time. The next step in the workflow is post-processing. The unified post-processor, or UPP, is used to convert the model output into useful forecast products. It can compute hundreds of fields and diagnostics and interpolate to different vertical coordinates like pressure levels. The output is in GRIB2 format and can be viewed with a third-party visualization tool. Python is used in this tutorial for visualization of the forecasts. 
Python is an open source programming language that is easy to read and powerful for mathematical computation, graphics, and other uses. For our purposes, Python is used for generating graphics from the UPP processed output in basic image formats. The images can then be displayed using your favorite image viewing software. The Model Evaluation Tool, or MET, is used for the verification step. MET is the statistics generation component of the larger METplus verification system. It's freely available and supported by the DTC and computes many different statistics using point, gridded, and tropical cyclone datasets. And finally, MetViewer. MetViewer is the database and display component of the larger MetPlus verification system. It is also freely available and supported by the DTC. It aggregates across multiple runs and plots the results via a batch system or interactive web GUI. Here is an example of that MetViewer interactive web GUI. This can also be used during this tutorial. For more information on any of these components or software packages, the links are provided here.